Welcome back to Undertale. Before I continue, I just noticed that in the main menu, Toriel seems to have taken the place of Flowey the Flower. I'm not sure if that means something, but worth taking note of. Okay, I feel like I should go to the left, because that's where Sans went, right? Sans or Sans? I don't know whether I should call him Sans or Sans. Sans, Sans. Sans, Sans. Sansa. Sansa. Sans. Sans like without? Like Sans Serif? Or is it actually pronounced Sans Serif? Hmm. Sans. Sans. Wait. Where, where did Sans go? Didn't Sans go off to the left? Are you hiding in the bush? Still a camera hidden in the bushes. Huh. What, did you go in here? I have no idea where Sans went. And now we have to walk all the way back. <laughs> well, I guess I should use this time to talk about Sans versus Sans. Sans, Sans. Which one should I go with? I'm gonna go with Sans. Prince of Persia, Sons of Time. Oh, can we go fishing? It's a fishing, a uh, fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Of course. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> I'd like to call, though. I'm curious. Oh, there we go. I'm so confused, though. I mean, I know Sans said, I'll be up ahead, which made me think that, you know, there, Sans would be further to the right, because I thought that was where I was going, so that would be up ahead. But when Sans said, I'll be up ahead, they went backwards. Like, they went back. They said they were going ahead, but they didn't go ahead, but they ended up ahead anyway. I don't get it. So, as I was saying about Undyne... <laughs> Sans! Oh my god! Is that... a human? Uh... uh actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey. What's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Popular, popular! <clears throat> human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then... Then... Uh, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Am I gonna have to fight it? And by it, I mean them. I'm so sorry, I called you an it. I didn't mean to, I just forgot your name. Uh, Papyrus. Your name's Papyrus. Ice cap struts into view. Oh, for a second I thought its second eye was like a unicorn horn, but... No, I think that's just a side view. The other eye must be on the other side of its head? I think? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at.
Okay, what can we do? Compliment, steal, ignore. Hmm. Let's ignore. You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here. Ooh. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. <laughs> Alright, so it's very vain and it wants me to look at its hat. Gotcha. So, should I c continue pissing it off? Should I ignore it again? Or maybe I should just compliment it. Yeah, let's just compliment it. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? Hmm, I don't know if that helped. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Alright, it's the same thing. Uh, let's try ignoring again. Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Oh. Oh, okay. I think I can do better on that one next time. I was unprepared. Ice Cap was desperate for attention. Wait a minute. Oh, I think that's actually enough. Yeah, there we go. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> Absolutely no moving. Huh? Uh, well, I'm gonna keep moving. Who's gonna stop me? Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Dang it! Doggo blocks the way. Look at its two short swords or daggers, awkwardly held in awkward positions. Sly Fox. Let's pet the fox. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Aww. What if I just don't move? I knew it! Doggo can't seem to find anything. Oh man! I love this game so much! It can only spot moving things, so I had the idea that during fighting, during the little battle sequence, what if I didn't move? I didn't, and I didn't get hit. <laughs> oh. Okay, can I pet it now? You pet Doggo. <laughs> what? I've been pet! It's freaking out. Doggo has been pet. And I think that's all we need to do. <laughs> S -s -s something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. You'll be okay. Also, I note that, ironically, on the building that Doggo's inside of, on top of it, there's an emblem of a cat. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Oh, there's some treats over there, right? Someone's been smoking dog treats. Wait, wait. smoking? Wait, are they drugs? What if I move? <gasps> Do you see me? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Oh, I can't move when I do the bell, actually. Big guy? Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. <laughs> Whoever you are, knock it off. Okay, it's done. <laughs> it doesn't want to play anymore. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. 
If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. <laughs> now the text is yellow. <laughs> uh, well, I have no control over the character once I touch the ice. Boom! Sliding forever. Let's hit the sign. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East... No ice? East, snowed in town. And ice. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. That is the most adorable enemy ever. The shield is as big as it. Lesser dog appears. What should we do to the lesser dog? Uh, let's see, we can pet, 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 or pet. Let's pet. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Pant, pant. Oh my god. You can... I, I don't mind if it runs into me, it's adorable. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. I think I've already defeated it, to the point where I can spare it, but you know what, I'm gonna pet it again, just for fun. You lightly touch the dog, it's already overexcited. Oh, don't move. Oh, right. I do have to move for that one. Okay. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. I wanna pet it again. Just to see what happens. But... I'm gonna die. Um... I don't have any items to heal with. <sighs> Dang. Should I do it again? No, it'd be a bad idea. Seven gold. That enemy is so adorable. It's a snow person's. Hi, snow person's with no arms is. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Aww. Of course I will. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Snowman piece heals 45 HP. 45 HP, please take this to the ends of the earth. Huh. I wonder if I'm gonna have that with me for, like, the entire game. And it can heal 45 HP, so it sounds like at any point I could choose to, like, eat it. If I wanted to. But that'd be very cruel. No, we're gonna save that. I'll find somewhere to use it. Anything else you want to say? How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Oh. You're doing fine. I haven't eaten you yet, and I never will. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called... sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Uh... <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Uh, oh, okay.
Hmm, I get the feeling that's... that Papyrus maybe just slightly gave away where to walk in the maze. Got a feeling. Got a feeling. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Okay. Incredible! You slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? He, yeah. He's super cool. Oh, what are you? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. <laughs> what? Oh, a customer. Hello. Would you like some... nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Nice cream. Feels 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the wrapper says something nice. Hmm. Can I eat it right now? Let's eat it. You're super spiffy. You recovered 15 HP. Do I want another one? You know what? I think I do, just in case. Just in case I get into battle and start taking lots of damage. Trying to see if this rock talks like the other one. Nope. What is that thing? I feel the urge to touch it. I'm gonna touch it. <gasps> Whoa! I got some- Oh! It's getting smaller! I'm gonna keep touching it so it doesn't, I don't know, before it disappears or something. Oh! There we go. Oh. Did you get another one? I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? Just five gold. Uh... Fried snow... Okay, let me just think about that for a second. If you fried snow just like dry in a pan or something, you get water. If you fry it like with oil, like stir fry, then well, you're gonna you're gonna need to wear heavy clothing over your entire body, and your kitchen is gonna be filled with splatters. Because if you heat up hot oil and just add water to it, it is going to just splatter all over the place. Water and hot oil do not mix. Sure. Did I say five gold? I meant fifty. Hmm. Sure. Really? How about five thousand gold? Well, I don't have five thousand gold. No. I have to pay for the raw material somehow. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if I just say yes to 5,000? 5,000 gold. Or 50,000 gold, that's my final offer. Uh, sure. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> you... Dick. His? 
Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Huh? I don't understand what this is telling me. But it seems to be talking about yellow snow, which doesn't sound good. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell humans. Green rating, which is red for some reason. Destroy at all costs. What? Hers. His and hers. His and hers. What? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. What if I fall into the hole myself? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a... <laughs> snow decahedron. Snow decahedron. I guess it isn't perfectly round, is it? Whee! Ah, wow, whoa, it's a hole. And it was red. Red means human smell, right? Or something? There's a camera hidden inside this lump of snow. What the? Why is there a camera like everywhere? It's very strange. Very, 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 very strange. I wonder if every time it melts that indicates, like... Nope, I was gonna say it indicates, like, how many hits it took you to get it in the hole, but no, it just continuously melts if you don't touch it. I gotta say, I don't think this game's, like, movement and physics and all of that are really well suited to playing this kind of game. Only being able to move in eight directions is not great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You were awarded two golds. Two golds! That's a lot of golds. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Uh, trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Hmm. Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Uh... I could just not solve it. Could, could I solve it even if I wanted to? It doesn't seem like it. Alright, I did it. Sans, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble or crossword? Mmm, crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z, because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore.
<sighs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> the horoscope isn't a puzzle. But it is a waste of time. But um, -tsh. That wasn't even really a joke. Oh, thank god, a save point. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. <laughs> Wait, before it was a mouse eating cheese. Now it's a mouse heating up spaghetti? It fills you with determination. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Nyeh <laughs> hip hip Papyrus. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> it's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. Warning. Dog marriage. What? Yes, you read that correctly. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just looking for more cameras. Whoa. Alright, well I know how to deal with Ice Cap, but... Jerry. Who's Jerry? Alright, let's deal with Ice Cap for now. Um, you ignore and then... Compliment, right? Yeah. Smells like... Jerry. What? Okay, let's ignore it again. There we go. Now I'm prepared for it. Jerry eats powdery food and licks its hands loudly. Ew. Guys, it's cold. Does anyone care? <laughs> Jerry is the person you ditch. It's the only thing I can do. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Aw, that's it? That's kind of depressing. Poor Jerry. But let's be honest, who wants to hang out with Jerry? There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click! The switch is stuck now. Hmm. Guess it must have done something somewhere else. What is that blinding white patch. Oh. It's snow. Let's get all these freaking snowballs out of the way. <laughs> this is pretty cool. They've got like snowball physics for the snow after you run through it. Oop. Damn it, Jerry, what are you doing in the snow? Well, let's just ditch Jerry. Snow? No, it's had residue. Oh, crap. Let's ignore it again.
Oh, whoa, Jerry's still here. I guess you have to ditch Jerry last. Return of Jerry. <laughs> so, like, what are you even doing? Jerry. out of the way. These are hard to move. You can only move so many before they start to like squish past you and just get left behind. Oh, it's just a map that shows the switch that I already hit, I think. Yeah, that's all it is. I guess these are spikes that would have been up if I didn't hit the switch. Whoa. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. <laughs> I ain't moving. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. <gasps> Doggy. Doggy, assault you. Are they kissing each other? It looks like they're kissing each other, and I see a little heart pop up. Dog Amy or Dog Aressa? Uh, Dog Aressa? Hmm. Roll around, pet, or re-sniff. Hmm. Shall I try petting? Let's pet. Well, no, if I roll around, maybe I'll roll in the snow and that'll get rid of my human scent. Let's roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. <laughs> Aww. I've played Toho before. I can do this. The dogs may want to resmell you. Okay. Resmell me. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. Smells like, uh. Are you actually a little puppy? Yes, I am. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Holy crap, what are you supposed to do? I don't know how to avoid that attack. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Hmm. It looks like they're not convinced, because their names aren't yellow. I better heal. I really need to heal. Let's eat the ice cream. Good thing I bought it. Okay, should I roll around again? Should I let them re-sniff? Petting them doesn't make any sense, right? Not if I'm a puppy. Mmm, let's roll around again. Smell like a weird puppy. Alright, I don't think that did anything. Take my wife's fleas. Uh, you. I, I don't know how to avoid that. I think I have to go under them or something when they're up, but, oh. Okay. Looks like I, sit, I can do the same thing to both of them. Maybe I need to let Dog Amy sniff me? But I think they both sniffed me. I don't know, re-sniff me. They already know you smell fine. All right. So should I just try to go? Should I try to flee? What should I do? Actually, I can't even flee. I can only spare. Um, hmm. Well, I've rolled around. I've re-sniffed, so I guess I have to pet? You pet the dog Aressa. A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. I know, right? The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Hmm. 
I guess I should pet the other one? Pet dog Amy. Pet by another pup. Alright, let's try this. Oop. Yeah, you gotta go under. Okay. Whew. The dog's minds have been expanded. What does that mean? Okay, now we're good. Ooh. 40 gold. Ooh, I'm rich. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. <laughs> no problem. So that's all I had to do. Roll around in the snow, let them re-sniff me, and then pet each of them. Also, I'd just like to point out that the the striations, the layers of this ground up here, look like layers of lasagna. Well, kind of discolored lasagna, but nonetheless lasagna. You know, if your cheese was like purple and your lasagna was brown, uh, maybe, maybe it's wheat. Yeah, let's just say it's wheat noodles. That's why it's brown. Let's read the sign before I press the button. Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Really? That seems too easy. Uh, that seems way too easy. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Uh... He seems to want there to be food left for him, and there is food, so yeah, I left it. Really? Wowee! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Oh, it's reversed. It's not nye he he, it's he 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 nye. Wait a minute. Why can't I change it anymore? Went from X to circle to triangle. Huh. Oh, I guess I just had to reset it. That's it? How is that even a puzzle? It just tells you what to do. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 bye. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay. Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Oh, I see. That's why you can't turn it back. It's kind of like you have to... You can only touch every single one once. Okay, let me plan this out. So... Okay, oh, you know what? You can actually see my mouse, can't you? Yeah, alright, let's use my mouse. So let me try to trace this. So if I start here, go up here, and then if I go up here and over and down, now I'm stuck because I can't hit this one. Oh, wait, wait, I think I got it. So down, over, up, then stop. Stop here, get off, 
go up here, up, down, over, touch, back. Yep. All right, that should do it. Bingo! Wow, you solved it. And you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I have no idea how that laugh is really supposed to be read. I don't know if it's like maniacal or what. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea here, Sans. Sans? Was I gonna call you Sans or Sans? I forgot. I think it was Sans. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Is there a camera in the trees? No. Hey. It's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you'd like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. What? I'm not gonna remember any of this. Purple, there's more? Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, <laughs> which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Yes! Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle... is entirely random! When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, <laughs> get ready. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. <laughs> You're saying it's not too bad, but it's not edible? The machine isn't working. <gasps> oh my god, hey, hey, hey! This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Can I turn it into art? Can I, like, turn it into a snowman using the snowman item I have? I don't think I can use the item, though. I mean, if I use it now, I think I'll just eat it. Or... Can I drop it? Uh, you know what? Let's save the game first, just in case I do something that I can't reverse. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh my god. Can I make it a snow dog? I want to make it a snow dog. Okay, let me try dropping the snow piece. I mean, it wanted me to take it to the ends of the earth, and I don't think this counts, but let's try it. You abandon the snow... Oh. Oh! When you drop stuff, it doesn't, like, go onto the ground. You can't pick it up. Oh god. That's not good. 
Uh... I think I have to quit the game and restart it. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Please tell me I still have the item. Yes, okay. Let's not try to use it. If I use it, I'm sure it'll eat it, because it does restore HP. Yeah, let's just leave it. I really can craft a s perfect snow dog? <sighs> hmm. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. I get the feeling this was written by a dog. On the floor inside is a box of... Pomer... Pomeraisins. At first I was reading it as like Pomeranians. And then I read it as raisins and then I tried to meld the two. Pomeraisins. Are those like Pomeranian shaped raisins? And who are you? That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Oh, don't be an asshole. What's with all this dog hate? Okay, well... I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I'm going to join this dog in its staring contest with his pillar of snow in the hope that one day it might turn into a perfect piece of dog art. <laughs>